while overworked nurses and doctors postponed elective surgeries, overloaded ICUs, some of the many issues that 20 active duty military medical personnel are now here in Spokane to help with. Our reporter Nicole Hernandez checked in with how things are running so far. Hi, Nicole. Yeah, that's right. So to, as of right now, Spokane is the 11th place that the Department of Defense has actually sent military personnel to help out with the pandemic response. So there's a total of 23 people specifically here in Spokane. 20 of them, though, are actual medical professionals, boots on the ground in the hospitals helping out. So there are 14 nurses, two respiratory specialists and four physicians here. They came from four different Navy bases, mostly in California. The team shadowed Providence workers to learn how the hospital operates. With their help, Providence uh, Chief Medical Officer for at Sacred Heart, Dr. Dan Getz, says the hospital will be able to start putting doctors back on elective surgeries. And it just has been relentless for over 18 months. So having support to come in and, and help expand our capacity as well as offer some reprieve to some of the people that have been working in that environment has, has been a godsend. Providence asked the Department of Defense for this help back in August. That was when Spokane County reported a record number of COVID-19 hospitalizations. Now hospitalizations are starting to slow down, but Providence still needs help in their ICU. Providence Holy Family says that they are treating 100 COVID patients right now. That's more COVID patients in the hospital than we saw during the first surge of the pandemic in 2020. The most of the more serious cases, Providence says, are people who are unvaccinated. Live in Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez.